take It's supposed to go both ways This broken heart is hardly worth the price you didn't pay Baby, Hey, good morning, good morning, fellas and gals Yeah, we have just gotten unloaded In Georgetown, Ontario gonna do is we're gonna make our way over to uh, Mississauga and then we'll uh, go to the uh, truck stop up there which is about a half an hour drive I guess it's only 30 kilometers which would only be about yeah maybe 35 minutes if that in 200 but, uh, meters turn left on Mountain View Road north there's a million lights up here that's probably gonna take us at least half an hour to get down there, but that's all right, I guess. We'll find our way down that way, and because uh, there ain't really nothing too much up here, so I'm just gonna go back to the uh, terminal there, or at least close to the terminal. There's a truck stop there. We're gonna go up there, and then uh, and then we'll. Uh, wait for further instructions on what we're going to be doing after that i don't think they have anything out of this area i've never really picked meters, anything up out of this up. area Fuel so Street, uh highway seven so i don't think that i'm going to take the chance to stick around up here so uh i i really don't think i'm even going to get anything until tonight so uh so we'll probably meters, uh, turn left on Fuel street highway seven probably go down there to the terminal and then uh, we'll have to wait for further instructions like I said and uh, I'm pretty sure we'll get something there tonight and got here a little late the green arrow was on there a minute ago there we go now we got the green light so we can, as soon as we have no traffic we can make it across right oh look at that Perfect. Everybody wants to go down that way, so I can go this way. <laughs> yeah. We'll see how this road is. Continue I've been on this, on this road, road before, but it's been a long time ago since I've been on there, so we'll make our way to the uh, truck stop there, and now uh, we'll probably go visit Master State there a little bit later. I don't think I'm going to do that right away. I think I'll we'll wait a little bit. And I mean, it's only quarter to eight Manitoba time right now, so the uh, Eastern Dispatch is not even there yet. Yeah, gotta wait till they even come in. Although I did have a load offer yesterday, but I had to turn it down because uh, I mean, let's face it, I ran real hard here the last you know four or five days. So uh, I, I'm starting to run low on hours. I only had 19 hours this morning left. And that ain't going to get me very far. That ain't, even ain't going to get me home. I have to wait till Friday so I get hours back so I can make it home. So, uh, and if they send me into the U.S., I can do it. But then I only get hours back on Saturday for the U.S. So I could only make it home Saturday, so I want to stay in the U and in, in Canada, so that way I can go home at least Friday, you know. And uh, I don't know what kind of load they're going to have, but I'm pretty sure everybody's going to want to do that. So, so it's going to be hard for them to get me a load, but uh, hey, that's just the way it Speed is. Speed limit reduced ahead. All right, it's all right, RJ. We're just going to take it really easy up here. <laughs> yeah, anyways, I hope you guys are all having a fantastic morning. I know by this time, by the time you watch this, or if you're even watching this, because it's the holidays or close to it, it'll be uh, New Year's here before you know it, because it's Christmas has already passed by the time you watch this. And I hope your Christmas was good. I hope you guys had a lot of fun at your family gatherings, and if you had any, and all that good stuff, so. I know we're planning on having our gathering on the 25th with my dad and his lady friend. He's obviously 
obviously not with his uh, wife anymore that he used to have. He kind of. I don't think they ever got divorced. They just separated, and now he's got himself a new girlfriend, and he's had her now for a couple of years. But we have nothing to do with our mom, and there's now multiple reasons for that, which I'm not going to get into right now. It's just we got nothing to do with her. She's just trouble. So. Uh, so that's sad, but that's reality, right? That's just how life is. But anyways, we'll go down there and find out what we're going to do today, right? I hope we're going to do something. It would be nice to get something to go home on, but we'll see. Alright guys, we're walking over to Master Steak over there. Yeah! We're going to go have us a nice meal. And then hopefully by that time we have a reload. We still haven't gotten any. I went over here to the Flying J and took me a shower. Now it's time to go have us a nice steak. Are you guys ready? I hope you have had something to eat. Because otherwise you might be hungry. Look at that. Our famous master steak. We have just gotten us a reload offer So we went over to the terminal and switched our trailers The reason being is they didn't want a dry uh, They didn't want a heater trailer They wanted a dry dry one trailer over there So we went uh, back to the terminal and uh, Did our trailer switching over there So uh, now we're just going over to uh, the uh, Flying J up here. We're gonna fuel up the truck all the way because I know what kind of load it is and it's never a heavy load. So we're gonna go fuel her up all the way, baby. All the way. And then uh, we'll go down to our pickup place and see if our load is ready. It's just a trailer switch over there, but. The load is only supposed to be ready at 3 this afternoon, so, uh, and it's only 1.30 right now, but I figured, eh, I'll go down there, it's only about, yeah, 15, 20 minutes drive, so, I'll go down there and find out to see if the load is ready, if it is, eh, good for me, right, if it ain't, then we're just gonna sit and wait there until it's ready, all we can do, it's all we can do, yes, indeed. I haven't done this load in a long time, but I was telling you about these kind of loads that we do, and uh, that's exactly what we got. That's what I, what I, uh, what I was thinking that I was going to get, but uh, yeah. Here we are coming up to the flying hook. So we'll get out of here and then uh, fuel her up, and then uh, we'll go over to our pickup and find out if the load is ready or not. Alright guys, we are done for today. Actually, it's the next morning already, but uh, hey, <clears throat> the load didn't get ready till, uh, what was it, 4.30 until I was notified that the load was ready. So that was already dark at the time I finally got out of Toronto. So uh, we, do we drove a couple of hours yet last night and uh, we made it up here to uh, New Liskard, Ontario, which I guess is about probably five hour drive or something. Could be around that area. So uh, yeah, anyways, we're done for today. I figured I'd close off this show. I know it's probably not much of a video today, but hey, at least we did something, you know. I did show you a little bit. <clears throat> so, uh, with that being said, we'll get out of here. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog anyway. So uh, we'll see you right here tomorrow morning on the Trucker Rudy Show. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come.